Having trouble with navel orange worm in the orchard? Sidetrack, now miso mating disruption is your best bet to minimize loss and maximize profitability. Used with Tresse's new multi-gender lures for your monitoring program, you can achieve the quality yields you deserve. Contact your local sales rep today. Hello, I'm Matthew Malcolm with Pacific Nut Producer Magazine reporting to you from the annual Tree and Vine Expo at the Stanislaus County Fairgrounds. It's great to be back in person. I'm here with Zerlandra Rajal from the UC Cooperative Extension gave a great presentation today on walnut husk fly, which is, is, a, is a boon, right, in the, in the walnut industry. It can cause a lot of issues. Can you tell us about, you know, some of the things you talked about in your presentation, but also what we're seeing out in the orchard this year, this past uh, harvest with walnut husk fly? Yeah, so, well, it's first of all, it's great to be back in person meetings. Um, yeah, husk fly is one of the major concern in walnut growers. It's uh, it's a pest that causes damage to the to the nut in the summertime, uh, but the, the, it is most difficult pest given the fact that it does not have any other biocontrol, natural control, cultural control practices have been adopted to manage this pest. So only thing that we have is insecticide control. And so when you think about, you know, the season long or at least three months long uh, pest occurrence and it's uh, damaged at that time and then you're trying to control it, with the only insecticide in multiple times that's and without using other tools that's already a problem uh, the other thing about the walnut husk fly is you really don't know the pressure every year it changes some years you get a decent amount of damage in certain orchard other years is elevated level um, and you really don't know in in uh, in a first hand those information in the in previously so because of that uh, this year we have seen a lot of husk fly issues uh, that growers have brought up uh, in the, some of the area that where I'm doing the trial, I'm doing the monitoring, we're seeing the kind of similar situation and lack of this diversity of the control is really a problem in husk fly. So what can, what can growers do moving into this next season with the tools that they have? So really, husk fly is another the unique characteristic of husk fly is it's it tend to be more localized. It it tend to be within the orchard, uh, even the within within one orchard. The one portion of the orchard likely have more damage, and other portion of the orchard may not have that much damage or, or do not have at all uh, damage. So in that case, what is important is to recognize where the pressure is, which area of the orchard that we need to focus on, early monitoring, early detection, and do the pest management approach based on that detection. So uh, it is different than the other pest, given the fact that it's not uh, throughout the orchard. And also the trap that we're using also not, not like a pheromone trap, which catches you know, hundreds of mo moths. In this case, we're catching fewer fly with the traps that available now for us and because of that it is important to put the traps in the place where we likely see the husk fly first and then make a treatment decision based on that. So with regard to the the treatment what's available or how we can manage the walnut husk fly it's unfortunate but really at this point we only have the insecticide spray that uh, basically kills the adults when they emerge during the summer. That's the only option that we have. Now we're exploring more and more options. Hopefully in next three years, five years, ten years we'll have better tools where we can combine with the insecticide uh, options and then get a effective or better IPM practices for managing walnut husk fly. Well, I know we're in good hands with the future of this research with, with people like you, Jalendra, and the UC Cooperative Extension. So thank you for taking the time. Look forward to reading more about it in Pacific Nut Producer Magazine. I'm Matthew Malcolm, CaliforniaAgnet.com.